Hi everyone! Today we'll be looking at educating the wise cyborgs of the future. If you're new to this channel, welcome! This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Be sure to stick to the end of the video and like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any one of our videos. As once a month, we share a community post that's exclusive to our subscribers, giving away some interesting prizes. It's only up for a few hours though, so keep a lookout. And without further ado, let's get into it. If we think of wisdom, we also speak of ancient thinkers, mystics, or figures of the mind. Wisdom is a part of the experience, yet other academic figures urge us to rethink knowledge in the light of future technological development. Citizens are getting exposure to increasingly versatile resources with the advent of emerging technology like augmented reality, big data, artificial intelligence, and robotics. These devices are neither malevolent nor compassionate on their own. The way they are used affects human beliefs and decision taking. During subsequent debates, we frequently rely far more on technical advancements than on theoretical and spiritual advancements. In fact, the moral knowledge held by future humans will be much more powerful than their technical instruments. This is just what Tom Lombardo and Ray Todd Blackwood are fighting for. In their interdisciplinary paper, Educating the Future's Wise Cyborg, they suggest a new concept of wisdom, one important to humanity's future. We really become cyborgs. Lombardo and Blackwood's paper main aim is to discuss innovative technological concepts that will train humanity for the future, soon to be cyborgs. It may sound like science fiction to teach these cyborgs, but if you pay attention to yourself and the world around you, cyborgs came into being a long time ago. Techno philosophers like Jason Silva point out that our computer apps are an implicit type of interface with the brain machine. We use smartphones for storing and retrieving information, measuring and communicating with each other. Our apparatuses are an extension of our consciousness. We use this tool to broaden the limits of our minds accepting to the philosophers Andy Clark and David Shalmer's theory of the expanded mind. To improve our sensory ability, we use tools such as machine learning to improve our perceptual abilities or powerful telescopes. So technology has become a part of our exoskeletons, allowing us to reach past our biological limits. To phrase it another way, you are now a cyborg. You were all along. The philosophical concept of cyborgs is interesting as well as thought-provoking, yet it is not going to remain theoretical for a long time. The last few years have seen impressive advances in both brain-machine interface hardware and applications. Experts design more complex electrodes, while improved algorithms are designed to decode the neural signals. Scientists are now been able to empower disabled patients to type through their brains, and also encourage individuals to interact by brainwaves alone. Technologists like Ray Kurzweil claim we'll link our brain neurocortex to the cloud through nanobots by 2030. Despite these developments, people will start to feel more and more like cyborgs. The future schools may not simply teach people like we are now, but would instead teach a modern form of hybrid human machine. Training founded on wisdom. If you're using an abstract or literal interpretation of a cyborg, our instructional templates need to be fully updated. And if you don't buy into the scenario that humans incorporate strong brain machines interfaces into our brains, there is also a dire need for wisdom-based schooling to empower present-day generations to solve problems of the 21st century. With a focus on individual topics, rigid tests, and a mastery material, our modern instructional structures were developed for the industrial age, for the intent of producing millions of productive manufacturing workers, not to inspire independent thinkers, innovators, or smart cyborgs. At present, the aim of higher education is to provide students with the degree that society tells them they need, and to train them effectively for the workplace. By comparison, Lombardo and Blackwood suggest that knowledge will be the core goal of higher education, and they focus on how we can make that possible in reality. Lombardo has developed a rigorous two-year basic curriculum plan aimed at cultivating expertise for new university graduates. What does the type of education look like? Lombardo and Blackwood split down wisdom into human traits and abilities, each of which may be individually formed and assessed or in tandem with others. The writers outline a detailed list of characteristics that can affect our decision-making as we work to tackle global problems and pave a more promising future. Such include focusing on the big picture, excitement, wonder, kindness, self-transcendence, discovering devotion, hope, and bravery. As the authors point out, given the dynamic and changing complexity of the society in which we work, the creation of knowledge offers a systemic, analytical, and ethical-based framework for interpreting the world. 
recognizing its vital issues and beneficial opportunities, and approaching its difficulties in a constructive manner. After all, many of the problems we have in our society today are boiled down to stagnant ways of thought, be it regressive mindsets, simplistic belief structures, or egocentric mentalities. Developing wisdom would protect future cultures to those crippling values. Think what our community would be like if knowledge were rooted in all the leaders and active members of society. The Smart Cybriot Lombardo and Blackwood encourage us to imagine how potential intelligent cyborgs will live their lives. What will happen if tomorrow's potent human-machine hybrids were always purpose-driven, caring, and ethical? You will see the new world emerging from a prism of wonder, excitement, and interest. We'll be using interactive intelligence as a problem-solving method and as a means of limitless knowledge to promote artistic thinking and creativity that should exploit digital technologies like augmented reality in an uncertain universe of exponential change they'd have to evolve and succeed. The media frequently depict the culture as having a bleak future. A profoundly optimistic and realistic future is worth thinking, in which we merge with them into wise cyborgs instead of the robots taking over. It is just a glimpse into what is achievable by merging transcendent knowledge with strong exponential technology. If you made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity and I'll see you in the next one.